Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. DFMA Part 3 Application Examples DFMA Part 3 Application Case Studies in Using DFMA In this Part 3 of our video on FMA, we will discuss two case studies in using design FMA. First one is about a pressure cooker and the second one is about lubricating oil gear pump. Now let us look at an example of design FMA. So this is an example of DFMA partial for pressure cooker as a system. Everybody knows what is a pressure cooker and what parts are involved in a pressure cooker. The primary function of a pressure cooker is to cook fast and the important function is to make it safe. So release pressure for safe operation in case the pressure exceeds a certain value. So four rows are there in this FMEA. This is not a complete FMEA. The requirements of cooking fast is 10 minutes for 0.5 kg rice and 0.25 kg pulses for the first three rows. The potential failure mode, first one, is steam leakage resulting in more time than specified. The effect of this is excess fuel burning and delay in cooking and also irritation. The severity is 7 because it is not a mission disabling uh, effect but it degrades the main effect of this or main function of the pressure cooker. So the rating is severity ranking is 7 here. The potential causes mechanisms of failure is the first one is rubber ring crush is low. The current design control prevention are rubber specifications, dimensions and material and also of course the tolerances. Considering this, the team has rated this as occurrence ranking of 4. The current design control detection is cyclic testing for rubber ring and the detection ranking is 7 considering that this may not be very effective for detection of this problem. So the RPN is multiplication of the three numbers which comes to 196. The second row up to this severity ranking is same but now the potential cause is different the first row was rubber ring crush is low in the new condition but now you also need to consider that there is an aging of rubber which can happen over a time, over a period of time and the uh, current design control prevention is rubber specifications. When rubber ages it can become hard reducing the crush and uh, effectiveness of the sealing. Now rubber specifications uh, only uh, may not be very adequate and therefore the occurrence ranking is 7 here. So the current de design control detection is none at this point of time. Therefore the detection ranking is 10 making the RPN as 490. The third row is uh, same but in the third row now we are talking about the potential cause or mechanism of failure as control wall seat does not seal. So this is a regulation valve that regulates the pressure inside and if it is not sealing properly it will keep on leaking the steam reducing the pressure inside and resulting in excess fuel burn delay and all this. The current design control prevention is angle and surface quality of the control wall. The occurrence ranking with this control is 6 and current design control detection is seat angle tolerance which makes it 7 for the detection ranking and therefore the RPN is 294. Now the fourth row the function is different now release pressure for safe operation and the requirement is release pressure when it exceeds 1.3 kg per centimeter square. Potential failure mode could be safety wall does not break at 1.3 kg per centimeter square 
and potential effect of failure is accident sudden accident with injury to a person therefore the severity is obviously 10 because it is a safety related uh, effect classification is made here as critical so this is a critical uh, characteristic and critical uh, operation you can say critical part of the operation potential causes mechanisms of failure valve mechanism failure due to corrosion current design control prevention is dimensional and mechanical specifications which is obviously the material specification is also included and occurrence number is 3 with that design control detection is none at this point of time and the detection number therefore is 10 with 300 rpm now based on this risk priority numbers and the priorities identified you can decide the action plan a suggested action plan is shown here action plan shows recommended actions responsibility target completion date actions taken and revised rating and revised rpm let us now look at an example of design fma of a lubricating oil pump a lubricating oil pump in this case we are considering an oil pump with two gears and a drive gear and casing gasket and a cover we are looking at loop pump as the system or sub system and trying to perform a partial fma of this now in the item function the main function of the lubricating oil pump is to deliver oil at a specified pressure and specified flow so the requirement is 5 kg for example 5 kg per minute at 3 kg per centimeter square pressure now the potential failure mode for this function will be either low delivery or no delivery or excess delivery let us consider here the failure mode of low delivery the potential effect of this is oil starvation oil starvation with possible failure of bearings or other mechanisms in engine this lubricating oil pump we will imagine that it is used on engine and which is the higher level system and we are now looking at the effect of this low delivery on the higher level system so it will result into oil starvations with possible failure of bearings or other mechanisms in engine there may be other places where this lubricating oil is important and uh, for example the, the piston rings the power cylinder or uh, the camshafts push rods and other uh, components tappets and so on this being a mission disabling of the engine we are classifying it at severity of 8 the severity numbers of 10 would be reserved for safety related uh, failures and 9 would be reserved for regulatory violation related failures but here it may or may not violate all these things and it will result into system failure so we are classifying into severity of 8 the classification is major because it results into mission disabling failure the potential causes now we'll list out potential causes of this failure you can see that there are multiple causes which can result into this we are not listing here all this is only an illustration the first possible cause is gasket sealing is not adequate and because the flatness is not adequate and current design controls for that is flatness specification as per company design standard the occurrence number again comes from our judgment or past records or if we know the process capability numbers the current design control prevention is flatness specifications and the current design control detection mentions a fuji film test a fuji film test is supposed to check the sealing quality of the gaskets and there is another test which is specified which is 500 hours test on test sand or prototype 
so if the test is satisfactory we will conclude that uh, this uh, failure mode is uh, not likely to be there again we have to look at the sample sizes uh, to make sure that we have enough assurance and confidence level the detection number depends on our strength of uh, our capability of detection of this failure mode during the design cycle before we release this design for production remember so this is rated here at 4 and a multiplication of 8 into 5 into 4 is 160 the recommended action here is perform design of experiments for torque low and high flatness low and high gasket material uh, a and b and fujifilm test on worst pieces oil should be at uh, high temperature so a recommended test is there and someone abc is responsible to carry out this test by a certain date here it is 30th of september 15 the next possible cause is again gasket sealing inadequate but this is due to torque is not adequate the again you can note that the severity rating doesn't change because of the because the failure mode is remaining same so the gasket sealing is not adequate and torque is not adequate that is the failure cause the current design control prevention is torque calculation comparison with company or industry standards. The occurrence rating is 4 here. The current design control is again the same. That is not changing. So the detection ranking is again 4. The RPN is 128. This is slightly lower because the occurrence number uh, that is decided by the team is slightly lower. Again the recommended action is same for the second cause. The next potential cause is so gasket sealing inadequate because the gasket design may be inadequate or gasket thickness compressibility now the current design controls prevention are none at the moment so the occurrence rating is 7 the current design control detection again is same and the detection rating is 4 so the rpn is 2 to 4 so this risk is higher compared to the other uh, causes of course the action is identical and the responsibility is also same the next cause of failures could be excess clearances between gears and housing fa housing faces resulting into leakages and uh, design control prevention are gear width and flatness tolerance but these are according to the team the occurrence numbers are higher so that is six the current design control detection is tolerance stack up analysis and 500 hours test and the detection ranking is three so hopefully uh, it will be picked up that's what the team feels the rpn is uh, 144 and the recommended action is perform test on parts with worst case of uh, tolerances club with the DOE exercise similarly you can also have excess clearance between gears and housing radius then excess clearances between gear profiles and gear profile gets damaged during normal usage fitting due to contact fatigue or other dynamic loading and then further uh, uh, rankings and design control prevention and detection are listed we look at the next uh, failure mode which is actually no delivery the first one was low delivery this could be similar but the causes could be different the resulting potential effect of the failure is same as the earlier one and the uh, severity ranking is also same the potential cause or mechanism of failure first one is drive shaft failure due to gear jammed resulting in overloading of torsional load the current design control prevention are shaft material and heat treatment process selection design calculations with that the occurrence ranking is uh, quite low that is two current design controls are tolerance stack up analysis 500 hours test finite element analysis these are the ones and then recommended actions test under higher loading that is accelerated at 20 percent overload and over speed the next cause is uh, gear slippage from the drive shaft due to loss of interference or low interference 
and current design control prevention or interference and tolerance calculations for torque load to pump oil occurrence ranking is 4 the current design control detection is tolerance stack up analysis and interference calculations for a specific torque load so we can add more and more rows to the potential failure mode as well as potential causes and complete the failure mode effect analysis the completion of such a failure mode analysis may require more than one settings and uh, it has to be updated after the actions are taken let us do a recap of this dfma part 3 video in this part 3 of our video on fma we have illustrated two case studies in using design fma the two case studies were about pressure cooker and lubricating oil gear pump we have seen how to use the dfma form and rating system to prioritize improvement actions thanks for watching this video hope you found it worth watching please subscribe to institute of quality and reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering six sigma and statistical quality control thank you